practice a little bit. Hi, my name is J.E. Mercer. I'm here with Mr. Gamble. And I, um, hi, I'm Jay and I'm here with Khalif Gamble and he's going to I'm going to ask him some questions about the lollipop forest and him working the studio while people sing and act and so we're just going to ask him some questions about what he's been doing and what he's wanting to do in this movie okay so what do you do? Well, in this whole in this in this production, in this production, I in this production, I my my positions have been uh, been a co video uh, videographer alongside brother Larry. I've also engineered a lot of the audio overdubs. We did a stage in this movie or this uh, production called ADR, where the uh, footage that we shot at the location that we were working on the project, later on, some of the, the dialogue or the audio that was, was spoken, we re-recorded it so that we could get a good mix of uh, what the actors and the actresses were saying. Okay, so have you heard any singing? Oh, I've, I've heard a lot of singing during this production. It's been some wonderful talent displayed, and uh, it's been my first time being introduced to some of the talent, actually, like yourself. Thank you. Um, so, do you, don't you think Xavier is a great person? Oh, absolutely. From the moment that I met Xavier, he uh, fancied my interest, so to speak. He is... Uh, it's, it's so many words, I guess you could say, about Xavier, but I think creative just puts it all into uh, one, one nice, nice pot. It's, it's many things you could say positive about this brother, but his uh, ability to make things work and bring people together is definitely unique and special, and it shows through the work that, that he you know, puts into his craft. So yes, Xavier has been... A very special friend since the day I met him, yes. So, how was your father doing with the whole business? Who's my father? Well, do I have to answer? <laughs> that great man up there is your father. Yes, yes, yes. What, what's his name, good sister? Yes, Kenny Gamble is my father. And I have been privileged since... 1976 to know such a man, and yes, I just aged myself, but I'm very uh, honored by that that presence in my life. It's a, it's a beautiful guide as I navigate my way to becoming the person I want to become. Okay, so the person you want to become is? Khalif Gamble. A nice. Huh? <laughs> a nice. Wait, wait, what's that? A nice person. Oh, most definitely. But, you know, uh, it's, it's, I just, yeah, I want to be the best person that I could be at the end of the day. I think you did put it properly. Yes. I tend to be, you know, nice, but, you know, sometimes you got you to gotta be tough, too, because uh, actually there's a song that my father did that's, that stands out when we start to speak of that, that type of nature or that type of behavior. And it's a song entitled "Only the Strong Survive," and uh, sometimes, you know, when you when you have to utilize your strength, you can't do it in a nice way for people to understand and get the point. So, you know, I just want to be Khalif Gamble, but Khalif Gamble is a very nice person, and that is I. And uh, it's been a great pleasure to work with everybody on the Lollipop Forest, and I look forward to further projects. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you. 
And I want you to give yourself a round of applause oh, because you well, did Oh, thank you very time. much. Thank you very much. Excellent, excellent. Okay. This is Jade Mercer signing off. Um, so what do you do in this movie? Um, I play, um, a big sister of my real brother. Okay, so how do you think, are you excited about this whole experience? Yes. So would you like to tell us what parts do you do? Uh, um... I, uh, forget. Okay, well, there's more where that came from, so tell me how you feel about you being in this movie. Um, I feel happy that I get to play in a movie and be one of the lead characters. Okay, so... Do you think you have to be very, very responsible in this lead character? Yeah, I guess. So, is your little brother, is he getting into any trouble in this movie, or? Mm-hmm. He actually gets taken by the bad lollipops. Okay. And does he get rescued at the end, or we just need to shh about that until yeah. the movie starts? Yeah. So, today we are at, okay, so today we are at a studio, so how do you feel, is, is it, this like your first time being in a studio? No, um, I've been in a different one. And that is for? The same thing. Oh, okay, so you've been in more. Okay, well, it's nice seeing you, and I hope I see more in you in the movie. So, thank you. This is Jade Mercer signing off. Okay. Hi, my name is Jay Elizabeth Mercer, and I am here with... Romany Abney. What a beautiful name. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how is this whole experience in the lollipop forest? It's been very different from my normal experience. Very different, but, you know, enjoyable. Working with uh, my grandchildren and uh, seeing their, their growth and development as artists. That's been real interesting. So you believe in them and yourself as mature and responsible to this whole experiment? Well, they're not always mature and responsible, <laughs> but they've lived up to most of that during this time. So I'm, I'm proud of them for that. And they've grown into the roles. So what part do you actually play? I play Mama Juice. Now, Mama Juice has a few magic powers and some other things up her sleeve. Okay, so it's really about being a responsible mother? Uh, well, I think it's more about being a responsible, about the, um, the two children in the movie learning to be responsible. They learn a lesson during the, during the movie. So it's like real life and now? Well, it's not like real life, but it's, the, the movie is more an analogy of life. Um, a story that teaches you a lesson that you can learn and that you can transfer to real life. So what about Xavier? Isn't he awesome? <laughs> yes, absolutely. That's my brother. You know, I had to root for him. Okay. So what, like, Three words. I just want three words. What would you think as Xavier? Mm, um, 
intellectual, um, chance taker, innovator. Okay, those are nice, strong words. So, basically, you just play Mama Juice, right? Yes, I just play Mama Juice. I have a small part. Okay, but, you know, in a movie, isn't that huge? Well, I guess it can be, but, you know, if you think about that while you're you're filming it, I guess it could be a little unnerving, so maybe it will be, maybe, you know, maybe it won't, who knows. Okay, well, so are you looking forward to your name on the big screen? Well, we'll see. <laughs> okay, this is Jade, okay, so, thank you. This is Jade, signing off. Hi, I'm with Nassim Richards. And what do you do in this movie? Play a little brother and and my big sister tells me to do stuff. So basically you're just annoying to her or just getting in lots and lots of trouble? Well, well I don't know. You have to ask her. So in the movie, um, so you just said you play a brother. So how do you consider this movie um, as in you playing it? Well, I, I want to be in a movie as in I like my person that I play. And it's, it's fun and I get to do stuff. So your character is pretty great? Yeah, I would say. Okay, so is let me have three things about what you think of Xavier. <laughs> He's very nice. Mm-hmm. So, do do you get bored in the movie, or is like, are you, are you like, adventurous in the movie? I get bored in the movie. That's but, how my character is. But okay, so your sister tells me that you get captured by bad lollipops. Well, yeah, and, and then um, it's this guy named uh, Bad Lollipop, something like that. And he, 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 had, he had to tie me up, so I got, like, captured by a lollipop. So, so, do you, th how did they actually get you? Well, I, I went, a, a, lolly, a lollipop said, hey, you want some candy? And then I said, yeah, come on, sure. And then I went with it, and it, it, it captured me. Okay, well, thank you, and I hope I'll see more of you in the movie. This is Jade Mercer signing off.
Will you be awake? Okay, sing Jade now. Um, just, you know, sing without the music. No, use it. Just, I want you to put your heart into it. That's what I'm saying to you. Y'all well, want some headphones over here? No, I'm, I'm fine. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Right. Oh, wait. Um, the music, because it gets me confused, huh? Um, now say it again. It quite gets you confused. Um, is the is the lights okay? Mm-hmm. Just sing with the piano, right? Just practicing. Okay, okay. Never mind. But sing. How'd that go, Colleen? You want to try it again? Serious, right? Do you understand what I'm saying? 
every time is the time. Every take is the take, all right? So there's no plan, no practice, all right? Every time you do it, do it the best you can, okay? Period, right? All right. You can get lost in a dream, chasing the sparkles of sweet things. And fun is the only meaning. It's alright to keep on dreaming. But where oh we Not what it seems You can get lost in a dream Chasing the sparkles of new things And fun is the only meaning Lost in a dream Lost in a dream Lost in a dream, lost in, lost in, lost in a dream, lost in a dream, lost in a dream, lost in, lost in. Everything is not what it seems. You can get lost in a dream, chasing the sparkles of sweet things. And fun is the only meaning. Lost in a dream. Lost in. Lost in. Lost in a dream. Lost in a dream. Lost in a dream. Will you be awake? Lost in a dream, lost in a dream, lost in a dream, lost in, lost in, lost in a dream, lost in a dream, lost in a You can get lost in a dream Chasing the sparkles of new things And fun is the only meaning Lost in a dream Lost in a dream Lost in a dream Lost
So one more, Jade. Mm -hmm. I'll keep that one, but... Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll tell her. I'll tell her. Oh, okay. You she got, got her headphones head? on? Yeah. Okay, Jade, we're just going to get it one more time. That was good, but one more so we can have it for our records. Hold on. Let me get your mic on. You got two two different times that you sang the verse. We're going to get it a third time. Okay. All right? You ever heard Third Time's a Charm? Hey, we there? <laughs> all right, all right. Take it easy, take it easy. See, now I can do this marker that I say. It's coming. Should have been soon. Overdub for my sister. All right. And that's basically it. Alright, we, we we rolling along. We're rolling along. So we do have two takes from, from that okay. performance that we can listen to. Mm -hmm. But real quick, I, I wanted to just see, that's not too bad. Let me just get her to do mm -hmm. this quick overdub so I can have this piece. Good, me good. Jade, I'm gonna take you to a, a quick part in the song. And and you know the part part where you just do the um Lost in a Dream, that melody? Just just do that. Just concentrate on that for just do it for a little while and I'll I'll stop it, okay? <coughs> okay. I'm when I'm gonna start the beat and when you feel it come along, just go ahead and do it. Don't worry about saying all the other lines and stuff. Just the lost in a dream, lost in a dream. Keep going. What, what, the first part too, right? No, no, just just the lost in the dream. Concentrate on that. Yeah, the first part is lost in a dream, lost in a dream. Uh-huh. Now the sex Don't worry about that part. Right? Just, yeah. just the lost in the dream. Yeah. Just you know how you keep repeating it, like yeah. lost in hey, that's the dream. Lost in I started making beats just do that when I was like 13. eight times in a row. How about that? Okay. Don't count the eight. Just do it like. 
doing right. a lot. Okay. And I'm still I'm I'm dirty. Good. I'm going to produce with a lot yeah, of I'll stop different it. Don't worry about it. You know what I mean? From Lil' Kim to being around uh, my man Roscoe P, who signed with Star Trek. The right, Ed Blasso. Right, you know, I just, this is how you do it. You do it when you're young. Because mm-hmm. then it's natural.
other horn. The other horn. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, we'll see. So we'll do that and then we'll let your dad do that and then we'll move on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Um, try to use the electric.
doing that on purpose. Fading that time. Um, yeah, I'm just breathing into it. Let's go. Come on. We, we, we good. <laughs> Give it a try. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. All right. Hold up, hold up, hold up. All right. Save, save, save. What happened? Daddy. Mm -hmm. Hey, Daddy. Did that got a battery? <clears throat> no, it's um, like switches to make it you know, sound different. Okay. None of them switches are gate, is it? Mm -hmm. Harmonics, like. Mm -hmm. Different keys. Gotcha, man. Easy switch. You ready? Mm hmm. Okay. Here we go. You're the boss. Roll. Ready?
had no clue who hung the. I had no idea somebody hung these jokers up there like that. Wait, but I'm just trying to think. They they was like that after. Yeah, after he did. After it. he performed. Yeah, but yeah. After my heart did. almost like. Uh, yeah. What to say? How long was they there? You would have got, yeah, got yeah, he had them on his head. Yeah, I was about to say I didn't hear none of that. Where did that come from? <laughs>
Okay. Yeah.
was that one? Okay. We're gonna try to remind him. Okay. That's what the boss said. That's the boss back there in the corner. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Son. He's all right. He's all right. <laughs> I look cool. I'm all right. I said, what's going on in the studio? I'll put Somebody some. break wind. <laughs> I'll put something in the chair. They heard it, you know. Oh, okay. They record it. <laughs> oh, man. He's a natural. You see that actor? He just, he just <laughs> grabbing cables that he thinks he should grab. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> I've been in the studio all my life. I ain't surprised. work, you know, it get a little more grungier, so you, you yeah. can cup it like two if you want. You know how you was doing on the joint over there? Oh, I'm going to mute that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make it easier. Uh-huh. Move, 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 move. Yeah, what was that about? <laughs> I think it was too low. You just felt the need to move. It was irritating you or something? <laughs>
How was that one? Right. So that was all right. Hey! <laughs> 
before I go any further, I just want to back up this new word. Oh, I've never seen nothing yeah, like it. Seen it. I know. <laughs> maybe he it's thought we was maybe he thought we was done. Maybe he, after he heard the take, he was like, "Oh, that sells the deal." <laughs> you know, it could have been. It could have been. Oh, that's all right. Oh wow. Yeah, I think it's you know. Um, we put her in, that's really basically it, man. If we're going to put like a bass in or something else in mm -hmm. to it. That would know. be nice. Yeah, so I mean, I could do that next time I can get a bass player, you know. Gotcha. How about the, uh, I remember we were targeting maybe one more shoot with the children at the house. That would be the uh, other thing, uh -huh. because I want to shoot uh, at the warehouse, I want to shoot Jade singing a song on the set, you know. Right. Because she, I'm about to say she doesn't have that scene. Right. I didn't know if you were just gonna use it to score, score music, or have her in the scene. You know. Yeah, I would. I would like to have her in it. Yeah. But, you know, barring that, I would just use it. You know, behind the Mother Juice's scene when she's going to get Mother Juice, right. and we see the house in the woods and when, all of when that. When Naja's like Mother Juice, Mother Juice, they yeah. my brother. Right before that. Oh, before that. Right. When they say um. Uh, oh, they say. You, they took uh, Nassim and he's like, mm -hmm, right, like right. Mother Goose? No, Mother Jews. Right. Going to that house. Go and then it, da, 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 I know what you mean now. Like that. So, mm -hmm. you know, that would come in right there. So maybe we would just have her come out, do the song there, and, you know. Hey, with the smoke and all, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And then that would be that. And then with the, the kids, we could just get an outside shot of them, you know, playing. And then that would be like in the... Uh, you know, in the beginning of it, before they actually, you Ooh. know, we just get like a, a shot of them right. playing or something like that. And right, then going into the house, turn on the TV, fall asleep, I think you said. Something like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I mean, that would, we would still just be, um, we might just be adding another maybe five minutes to it, you know, but. Hey, Carly, um, you see my cable that was in the chair? Is that this one I just wrapped up? Yeah, yeah. Is this the other one I had? Or that's the other one? Oh, that's mine. Alright, here, I just wrapped it up. I hear you ask, what were you saying, bro? That's it, though, right? Yeah. That scene, yeah, that would be. That was, I remember you were saying that. That's why I didn't know when you wanted to fit. Yeah, it, I mean, once we have that, have a good rough copy, which is basically the next step up off of, uh, you know, what you um, have in here. Yeah. You know, that would be like a good rough because um, I think we're at about, we should be like about 20, 20 minutes, 21 minutes, so it probably wouldn't be more than 25 minutes, I'm okay. thinking about. Right. Feeling so. good, brother, feeling good. We have a lot of content. Yeah. Definitely have a lot of content. Lots to, lots to play with in different ways. Like you were saying too, also before with the cutaway scenes, mm -hmm. and now you have uh, additional ad libs and such to just put in. Well, really, man, I had, I was gonna do this, uh, this puppet bit, right? And it was gonna be like, a, you know, like we did James Brown, right? Mm -hmm. I was gonna do a Michael Jackson thing, you know? Like a, a play on, uh, Billy Jean, mm -hmm. but I was going to do Jelly Bean, right? And I was, you know, getting ready to do this, and then he died. Mm -hmm. You know, so I have to put in a, some kind of a tribute, I think. You know, Mike. that would be that would to, be real. So nice. we want to, I want to shoot a little short puppet Michael Jackson kind of thing, you know. Oh boy. So when we shoot her, we can shoot that Michael Jackson kind of tribute with one of the puppets, and, gotcha. you know. Yeah, I'm with and you. I mean, I, I think that's. That would be fitting, man, because the guy was a, he was a great dude, man, and um, spectacular. You know, I mean, the way radio has been just playing him out of control, oh, man. it's been a treat. I can't lie, it's truly been a treat and a trip down memory road, memory lane. I think it's a shame, man, that 
Yeah, I went out like that, man. It's crazy.